it's time to express the exceptional. Introducing the Exynos 2600. Built on industry-leading 2 nanometer GAA process. Just a few days ago, Samsung quietly dropped a name that instantly turned heads, Exynos 2600. And if you follow smartphone chips closely, you already know this is a big moment. This powerhouse is expected to land inside select Galaxy S26 series phones, and even before its official launch, the leaks are painting a very bold picture. According to trusted tipster Universe Ice, the Exynos 2600 is built on an advanced 2 nanometer process, most likely by Samsung Foundry. Right away, that signals ambition. And the newly introduced ENSS boosts FPS using AI, delivering next-gen gaming experiences. This chip reportedly packs a 10-core central processing unit, led by a prime core pushing 3.9 GHz. Alongside it are three high-performance cores running at 3.25 GHz, plus six mid-cores clocked at 2.75 GHz. Exynos 2600 features an upgraded CPU that delivers up to 39% higher performance, enabling on-CPU machine learning. By supporting SME2, AI computation efficiency and processing speed are further enhanced. All of this is powered by ARM's new Lumex platform, which promises faster artificial intelligence performance and smarter efficiency. And here's where it gets even more exciting. On the graphics side, the Exynos 2600 is said to feature an advanced micro-devices Juno graphics processing unit, also known as Exclipse 960, based on the RDNA architecture. It runs at 985 MHz and supports modern graphics application programming interfaces like Open Graphics Library Embedded Systems 3.2, Open Computing Language 3.0, and Vulkan 1.3. Earlier reports even suggest this graphics processing unit could outperform the latest Snapdragon chip's Adreno 840, though real-world results may still surprise us. As for availability, the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus are expected to use the Exynos 2600 in most regions, with Canada, China, and the United States being the exceptions. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is likely to rely on the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 worldwide. The real question now is whether this chip can finally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with giants like Apple A19 Pro, Dimensity 9500, and Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. In the past, Exynos chips struggled with higher power consumption and heat, but this time, Samsung claims its new heat path block technology has changed the game. If that promise holds true, Exynos might be ready for a serious comeback. This really feels like one of those moments, the kind where Samsung steps back into the spotlight and reminds everyone what Ultra truly means. According to Shishir, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is not shaping up as a small refresh at all. This feels bold, confident, and very intentional, like Samsung is gearing up for something special again. The experience is expected to start with a breathtaking 6.9-inch quad high-definition plus a mold display, paired with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Visually, this should feel rich, fluid, and deeply immersive, whether you are gaming, watching content, or just scrolling. The slim 7.9mm body combined with built-in S Pen support keeps that powerful ultra personality alive for creators and productivity lovers. Performance is where things get even more exciting. The rumored Snapdragon 8 Elite Generation 5 processor hints at serious serious power, built for demanding multitasking, intense gaming, and long-term reliability. Camera lovers are also in for a treat. A massive 200-megapixel main camera is expected to lead the setup, backed by a 50-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 12-megapixel 3x zoom, and a 50-megapixel 5x periscope camera. The 12-megapixel front camera should keep selfies and video calls sharp and clean. To round it all off, a 5,000 mAh battery with 60-watt wired charging, 25-watt Qi 2 wireless charging, IP68 protection, and one user interface 8.5 on Android 16 complete the package. A February 2026 launch could turn this into one of the most talked about phones of the year. It finally feels like the moment we have been waiting for. Samsung is gearing up to unveil the Galaxy S26 series in the coming months, and every new leak is making the hype feel real. The latest surprise is a fresh Galaxy S26 Ultra listing, and it just added fuel to the fire. A sharp-eyed Twitter user spotted the phone on China's 3C certification site, and the details are wild. The listing confirms the SMS 9 948 model number, along with support for 60-watt wired charging, rated at 20-volt 3-amp. That single line alone is enough to shake things up. This almost confirms that Samsung is finally ready to bring faster wired charging back to the Ultra lineup. The last time we saw a real upgrade was way back with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, so this boost has been overdue for years. What makes it even more convincing is Samsung quietly adding a 60-watt charger to its own website. At this point, it feels less like a rumor and more like Samsung warming up for a major comeback. The 3C listing also highlights satellite connectivity for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. We already saw this feature on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but now the question is simple, will Samsung push it further with 
stronger connections or new satellite features for its next flagship. The wait is getting exciting. Big news just dropped, and Samsung fans are gonna feel this one. For months, the Galaxy S26 Ultra rumors sounded exciting but uncertain. Snapdragon or Exynos, global split or regional drama, no one could say for sure. Now the wait is over, and the proof is finally here. Fresh leaks reveal that Galaxy S26 Ultra model numbers SMS948B and SMS948U have officially passed Federal Communications Commission certification. And here's the hook. Those documents confirm the SM8850 chipset, better known as the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. That changes everything. Based on Samsung's naming pattern, SMS948B points to the international version, while SMS948U confirms the carrier-locked United States model. Put that together and the message is loud and clear. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is getting Snapdragon power worldwide. No compromises, no regional surprises, and it gets even more interesting. Reports suggest the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus will also run the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 across almost every market. The only exception is South Korea, where Samsung is rumored to use the Exynos 2600, one phone, one global chipset strategy, and a clear signal that Samsung is taking performance seriously this year. This is the kind of confirmation fans were waiting for. Picture this. We're racing toward 2026, and the excitement is already building. The first few months of next year could bring one of Samsung's biggest moments as the Galaxy S26 series finally steps into the spotlight. And thanks to two fresh leaks, we now have a clearer look at what might be coming. A well-known leaker, Universe Ice, has shared not one, but two two detailed spec lists covering the Galaxy S26, the Galaxy S26 Plus, and the Galaxy S26 Ultra. There's no mention of a Galaxy S26 Edge this time, which already adds a bit of mystery. The expected processor upgrade is here, moving to either the Snapdragon 8 Elite Generation 5 or the Samsung Exynos 2600, depending on the model. Outside of the chipset though, the changes seem surprisingly subtle. The standard Galaxy S26 might see its display grow from 6.2 inches to 6.3 inches, and the battery could jump from 4,000 mAh hour to 4,300 mAh. Beyond that, the cameras, RAM, storage options, and charging speeds appear untouched. The Galaxy S26 Plus feels almost identical to the previous fan edition. Aside from the new chipset, the only noticeable difference is the weight shifting from 190 grams to 194 grams. Then there's the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Most of its upgrades are minimal too, but one detail stands out. The 10 megapixel telephoto lens might get a larger sensor, and wired charging could rise from 45 watt to 60 watt. Samsung is also rumored to shave the thickness a little. For many Samsung fans, this slow and steady approach may feel underwhelming, especially when rivals like Apple are taking bigger leaps each year. The second leak comes from another tipster, the One CID, who claims the Galaxy S26 has been spotted on a testing server running One UI 8.5. If that's accurate, an early January launch may be on the horizon, even though details are still uncertain. Samsung's current non-foldable flagship, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, comes in a stunning array of colors. If black is your vibe, you get to choose between two two sleek options, jet black and titanium black. The jet black dazzles with a fully black panel and frame, while titanium black mixes a black panel with a silver frame, giving each a distinctly different feel. Even among blacks, the shades tell their own story, but things might get even more exciting with the Galaxy S26 Ultra, the brand's upcoming non-foldable flagship. According to Ice Universe on X, the Galaxy S26 Ultra's black variant will sport a black frame, no more silver like the titanium black of the S25 Ultra. This tweak is subtle, but impactful, making the display bezels appear bolder and more pronounced. That doesn't mean Samsung is limiting your choice Choices. Just like before, there could still be two black options, titanium black and jet black. Both may feature black frames, but expect the shades to be strikingly different, giving you a fresh take on classic black.